Hello everyone, just a very quick video now just to let you know that I'm still working on this project despite the uh, fact that the spot failed to stand last time. You can see here I'm printing uh, new side panels for the spot chassis which is part of my revised design. The other parts you can see are over here in a big jumble. Now as you can probably have guessed the fact that the servos proved to be too weak prompted me to print shorter legs. Now speaking of servos and strength, I tried to find the difference in the torque readings for um, the high speed versus the high torque servos, but they ended up saying that they're the same, 13 kilo centimetres. So I got curious and then decided to set up a little test rig. So what I've got here is a servo with a, an arm which represents the length of the spot's leg connected to a luggage scale. Now I had a, I did some initial testing on this to compare what I'd calculated the um, the effort would be, and did some quick testing and got some similar figures. So uh, I'll do more of this because I really am curious to know what the actual power output of these uh, servos is. The other thing I've done is this is the um, Arduino Mega with sensor shield attached, which I. I mean, I found it good to start with. You know, I also found the PCA 9685, which is this guy at the front here, to be a very effective way of controlling servos. So in the end, I've opted to go for a Nano, which is in the middle there, which is much lighter. Uh, the thing at the back with the digital display is a power regulator, and right at the back are some 18650 batteries. So I'm going to incorporate all those into my new design so that it will have the batteries on board and have the power regulator running the Nano using the PCA 9685 to drive the servos plus the PCA 9685 can um, control serial inputs such as video cameras and my IR sensor which is just there. So this is the original spot chassis here. I'm doing fairly substantial upgrades to this in the interest of one, saving weight and making it a bit smaller. One of the things I've done is, you can see at the front here are the hip joints. Now, if you look on my new side panels, you see that the hip joints are actually incorporated into the side panel. So I won't have any hip movement in or out, but to be honest, I just found that a pain anyway. Plus the other thing that means is that I'll be eliminating two servos which is cutting weight because that was one of the one of the aims of the uh, updated design I'm doing is to reduce the weight of the body so that uh, the whichever servos you use you'll have a better chance of uh, getting spot to move. But anyhow as I say that's just an update to let you know that I am still working ahead and still <laughs> still failing and still learning but uh, it's getting there and I'll let you know uh, once I get this together ideally, I know I always make these highly optimistic uh, predictions about where I'll be but ideally by tomorrow I will have a, a, a running chassis to basically test this new design and see whether or not uh, it is going to yeah, prove effectively as I'm hoping one of the things I have noticed is that I've set these uh, servo horns too deep, so I might have to take the servos out with a few washers, but you live and learn. So have any, have any questions, or if anyone's attempting this project themselves, or are interested in any of the designs or the modifications I'm doing, please just put a comment down and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.